Hey, g'day guys, it's Alex Sutton here from Mind Freedom. Uh, welcome to this review for the Barbell Medicine Strength 3 program template. First off, I just want to say a big thanks to everybody who really enjoyed the review of the Renaissance Periodization Powerlifting Strength template review. I got a lot of good feedback on that one, so I decided what better way to start reviewing other templates and programs out there as well. Um, this is on Barbell Medicines, who I am a big, big fan of. I think they're doing some really, really great things in the industry. And uh, I did the Strength 3 template, really enjoyed it, got some good progress, and I wanted to review it for you guys. Um, so just to let you know, this is a overview of what you get and what it's going to look like sort of thing. So. Uh, on the first page, you have the welcome tab. Um, this is basically, there's just a quick introductory video from Jordan who um, just basically outlines how to use the template. And then you right in here, you wanna put the date um, that you're gonna start the program, uh, which is basically Sunday's date for the week. So if I was gonna start the program this week, I would have put in Sunday the 17th of January, 2021. Pretty simple and pretty basic. Next tab, you've got the exercise selection. So this gives you, obviously, I just want to say this is a powerlifting template, obviously, to increase your one rep max in the squat, bench press, and deadlift. So this isn't a hybrid program like bodybuilding, or sorry, power building, and it's not uh, pure hypertrophy either. It is purely just to get stronger in the, the competition lifts. So it's great to peak yourself for a competition um, or can be used in the off season for testing as well. So in the exercise selection, you have your primary squat, obviously, which is for most people low bar. You can also change that to high bar. You've got all the other variations um, for the, the rest of the movements. Now, roughly speaking, you're gonna be squatting two to three times per week, bench pressing four days a week, um, even more, and deadlifting twice, possibly three times a week, but generally twice. Um, it allows for you to use exercise variations that you have at home or at your gym. So you've got all the access to different bars, high bar, low bar, pause squats, etc., etc. Same thing for bench press. There's heaps and heaps for the bench. It just it's like an endless list of different exercises. Um, heaps and heaps of variations. So that's one of the best things about barbell medicines programming is they allow for heaps and heaps of variation. Um, for deadlifting, there's not as much, but I think the main reason for that is basically in deadlifts, you just don't get as much access to different variations, and um, but it still works all the different sticking points within the lifts, which is the main thing. Um, so that's the exercise selection tab. The next one is the calculating tab, which is basically determines your one rep max. Um, it also does things like five rep max. Uh, Sorry, not five rep maxes, it's just your one rep max. Um, you type in the weight that you did for a certain amount of reps and what RPE you called it, and it will give you a one rep max calculator right there. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, that tab. Next one is the nutrition log. I'll be 100% honest, never use this, um, but you can track your nutrition here if you want as well. Um, not sure if you can see this, I'll zoom in a little bit, but basically it has protein, carbs, and fats, total calories, your weight, a seven day weight average, and some conditioning and GPP, and that's covered month to month in that. Next tab is a pretty cool fun one, uh, is the basically the analysis tab, which tracks your estimated one rep maxes across all the lists. So this isn't just the, the competition lifts, so you've got the uh, comp squat, bench, and deadlift here, but you also have access, uh, sorry, not accessories, assistant lifts as well. So you can track all those and they change uh, block to block. Um, basically, every four weeks, uh, the exercises change. Um, that's something I've probably got to also mention is the program is 12 weeks in length and it's designed for advanced lifters. So you need to have at least 12 months of experience with the competition lifts and pretty much maxing out all your linear linear noob gains as well. Next tab is the main one I'm going to be hovering around for most of this video, and that's the overview tab. Because the rest of the tabs in here are just each week itself. Uh, I'll quickly duck into one of those, but basically the overview tab is what the week looks like and what the overall program looks like. It's a four day a week training split with a fifth day of conditioning or GPP. 
Now this GPP stuff can be spread out throughout the week however you want it. It has a combination of conditioning and cardio, upper back work, trunk or ab work, and then direct arm work. Um, I actually really like this setup because it doesn't place a huge emphasis on this kind of stuff because it doesn't impact your one rep maxes directly that much, but it's still important to kind of get in. And it's very time efficient, so you have like seven, seven minutes of as many reps as possible of abs, um, two sets up of back work um, and conditioning in there. I would recommend you do this though, because it can improve your work capacity and recovery as well. So as I said, it's a four day a week program. Day one is usually a competition squat and bench. Now, what barbell medicine do is they're a huge fan of RPE, um, if you haven't already known, and they're very influenced by reactive training systems, programming methodologies. So you're gonna get a lot of what I, what's called ramping sets. Ramping means, for instance, day one here, you've got five at seven, five at eight, and five at nine with no back offs, which means you choose your five reps uh, for an RPE of seven, and then you add a little bit of weight to get the eight, the same thing to get the nine. Um, that's basically how a lot of the programming is. I'll get into a little bit more of the programming as we go through, but basically you're gonna be looking at ramping sets. Um, over here, you've got obviously more variations here. We've got high incline bench, got belt squat, low incline. Again, this is all customizable in the exercise selection tab. And so you're pressing every day as well, sometimes twice a day. So I'm trying to think, yeah. So on day three, you've got a touch and go bench and then a low incline dumbbell. Um, so that's two pressing movements. It's mainly because with bench and pressing movements, you can recover and tolerate a lot of volume. Um, day one and three are kind of your main squat days. Day two and three are your main deadlift days and then some accessory work or assistance work, I've got to say. Um, now we go into a bit more of the fun stuff. So in week two, you're already starting to implement the single at eight. So the single at eight is designed to start peaking your one rep max and get an idea of where it's at. Then you have this followed by a five at nine, which I actually find is the hardest set in the entire program. That five at nine is, is, a, is a big tough one, but that's to give you some hard volume. And then followed by that is the 76% of estimated one RM which is calculated off your single at eight for a total of 15 reps. And all those sets should be done in the four to six rep range, capping at an RPE of 8.5. That sounds pretty complex. It's not, you'll get the hang of it, but basically that's your volume work and it's done in a very sub max fashion. Um, I found I really enjoyed it, responded well. So I love sub max work. Um, that's one of the things I do like about this program is you get a good combination of really hard top sets and then good sub max back off, vo back off volume to, um, to really ingrain technique and confidence within the lifts. Um, so that's, and that's the same for your comp bench, just a little bit heavier with a four at nine um, and deadlift as well. And that goes pretty much throughout the entire program. So that single at eight, then the five at nine is pretty much always there. Gets a little bit heavier once you get into the last four weeks. So you'll be looking at things like a single at seven, single at eight, and then sub max percentage work for volume um, to obviously taper and peak you for a meet. Um, throughout the course of the program, a lot of the, what they call the supplemental lifts, which will be like the standing overhead press or something like that, or belt squat, is still done in a ramping fashion with some back off work. So I will say for most people, this kind of program is quite a lot more advanced than you're probably used to. Um, but it's not to say that you can't get the hang of it. You just really have to pay attention to what what you're doing in the session, calculating your estimated one rep max and doing some calculations in between sets. So it is a little bit more time consuming, but it's well worth it. Um, I will say these workouts are long, so be prepared to be in the gym for at least 90 minutes maybe two hours, even two and a half hours, depending on what your warm-up system looks like. So I'll creep a little bit further forward so you can see some new exercises, week nine. So you've got some feet up bench, some pin bench, slingshot, pin squats, 
um, wide grip bench, stiff leg deads, deficit deads. So it's a nice good variation. As I said, you can change the exercises in the um, exercise selection tab. What I'll do is I'll go into week one, show you a quick look of how you actually log the training. So you have a total for every exercise and the amount of tonnage and average intensity and estimated one rep max it gives you. This is the section where you actually log the training. So in week one, you'll type in the weight. So this was a ramping set, you know, five at seven, five at eight, five at nine. Um, I sub, I got these way under because it was week one. But um, you input all that, it'll give you your estimated one rep max, the total reps you've done, tonnage. It's really, really intricate. And if you're a numbers guy like me, you'll really, really enjoy it. Um, and you can also track your GPP work in there as well in the notes section. So it's overall, this is um, one of the most in-depth templates and powerlifting training programs I've ever used. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I can highly recommend it for advanced powerlifters. So this is the strength three, as I said, what that means is um, the strength one, two, and three. And you, I haven't done strength one or two, but I've been lifting for nearly 12 years, been competing in powerlifting for eight years. So um, I wanted to give strength three a go. But if you're a beginner, definitely, uh, or sorry, just finish the novice linear progression. Um, you want to start off with strength one and then kind of build your way from that. But overall, I give this program a 10 out of 10. I, I can't really fault it besides the fact that the workouts are just extremely long. So you just need time. If you've got the time and the patience and the work ethic, this is a great program for you. It's well thought out, well laid out, really interesting programming techniques and um, good variety. I personally don't, I know some people have said barbell medicines programming is a bit, um, you know, lacking in some areas, but I, I personally think it, it works really well and I enjoyed it. So hope you enjoyed this video guys and we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Make sure to give the video a like, share, subscribe, and I'll bring you some more reviews of templates. Cheers guys.